a new season of Bring It is about to kick off. So we've gathered Coach D and some of your favorite dolls and DDPs <laughs> for a season five pre-game party. We made it. We made it. They'll be schooling you on their terms. And if you don't know what these words mean, then you have no reason to be screaming Didi for real at all. <laughs> and answering questions. What is the first thing you do when you get home from a trip? Strip naked. The freedom of swing is everything. They're showing the love. Well, sometimes. We in Mississippi, Man. what difference does it make? So moving on. He is a better woman than she will ever be. And dishing out the drama. If Dana does this, this is gonna be the craziest move ever. Both in and outside the dollhouse. Do I hate him? Coming up on the Bring It Season 5 pregame party. Make sure you don't move because you don't want to miss any of this. All right, the next game is called Learn About Miss D. Everybody has all these questions, and y'all always up in my business and want to know about me, so we're going to do this quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm going to fling the cards, so get ready. Pay attention. What is the best thing about Jackson, Mississippi? Wing stock. Those damn wings. The original hot, all flats, with extra sauce, ranch dressing, and a large sweet tea. Ah, extra ice. Who would play you in the movie version of your life? Oh, Taraji P. Henson. Oh, that woman is my spirit animal. Miss D, did you get your breast enhanced? Of course I did, girl. Those things were too little, and I'm trying to look good in a good bathing suit top. <laughs> Double D now. <laughs> What is the first thing you do when you get home from a trip? Strip naked. You know, women, we wear bras, and the freedom of swing is everything. How would you describe yourself in three words? Bad ass chick. Boom. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Not a damn thing. I have been made perfect in God's image. Remember that. If you were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what would it be? I would want to be our natural disaster so I can blow Neva's ass off the face of this earth. All right, that was fun. With Cameron graduating this year from high school and the search for the new captain is on, it's kind of a bittersweet moment for me. I'm very proud of her. The growth that she has had from beginning to end has been mind blowing. I always said, Cameron, little pudgy little self will never be able to do this on this team. I mean, the way they flipping and doing these stunts, and I'm like, can you do that? You know, the most we had to remember were the ABCs. I remember a lot of her firsts, and those firsts were horrible. Like, her first solo, she did a great job there, but preparing for it was terrible. I was so nervous. What if I mess up? What if something goes wrong? What if... I just fall. Do your best. Remember the smile, energy, attitude, personality on the floor. You got it. Dancing Dolls has really taught me patience, of course, and how to pick up on things fast and pay attention to details. You have to be able to take constructive criticism. And the one, the main person you have to learn to take it from is Miss Diana. You're running the squad today. Go fix it. Either fix it or don't leave. Being a captain is like everything I'm working on. When Miss Diana yells at me, I just get so scared and I'm nervous. This is your opportunity for you to prove yourself worthy to be captain. Your mama's fussing about wanting you to be captain, so we're gonna see if you're able to handle yourself. Get this scared look off your face. Can you handle this yes or no? Because if not, Kayla can do it. It was bad for her, but she was relentless. as captain of the Dancing Dolls, I have learned that you should never underestimate your competitors and always be up for a challenge. I knew she could do it, just had to find her way herself. Cameron made everyone a believer. It just showcased the strength that one person can have and what they can overcome no matter what is going on with them. I feel like Cameron has evolved so much within this little time frame. She has earned it. She has done what she has to do for this team because, I'm sorry, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. It's been a hard journey. 
This is really gonna be a big year for me. I am determined to leave my mark. I feel like she's ready to conquer the world and I'm ready for her to conquer the world. I'm ready. I have six girls that I'm looking at to fill the potential captain position, but I can't have all six, there can only be one. Being captain of the Dancing Dolls is pretty much like being the president of the United States of America. A lot of things fall under the captain's role and it's just a lot of pressure. You're gonna have to be able to love what you're doing to be able to handle the girls, handle stress, and then handle Diana. Gotta do it. You just, I can't, I can't even explain it no other way. You gotta do it. You need to give me some more. When you push, like kind of look back. Face, it, you, I mean, you just got the everything. You just got to bring it. As a captain, you have to be able to change the game for your team. If you're trying to be captain, you have to stand out from the crowd, and it doesn't mean just in dance. Uh, <laughs> It is like picking a president. Dancy doll president. Boom. All of these girls, they really possess something different. Next up is number 773. Christiana is the silent killer. She don't say nothing, but she will kill you with every dance move she has. She just needs to become that lion that finally learns how to roar. Deja is a versatile dancer. She doesn't have the aggression in her dance moves. She's kind of a cute dancer. I've never seen Deja had to take charge. So I believe, you know, she probably could handle a group. I don't know if she can handle this group, but she can handle a group. Shakira has one of the most best, best, best death drops in Jackson, Mississippi, literally. Shakira comes from way up north somewhere and she falls down to do the death drop. And I'm like, well, well, Shakira, where did you come from? Everybody's Oh my God, Canary. Canary is the motor mouth of the team. Like, if we all get in trouble, it's gonna be because Canary never shuts up. Like, she talks, talk, 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 talk. Then there is Makaya. She is known as Tick, Tick, Boom. Yes, ma'am, Tick, Tick, Boom, because when she hits the floor, it's like dynamite has literally entered the building legally, and she's blowing everything up in front of her. If you want someone to jump from the building and you flip and land on their head, that is Makaya. Like, she is just out of this world creative. Makaya's never say die, daredevil, try anything attitude, it's rubbed off on the girls and it makes her a great candidate as being the captain of the team. We also have Princess. She's coming from a whole nother team. You know, it's kind of weird that Miss Diana would pick a new girl to go up for a captain's position. I'm not understanding why we even acting like it's a thing for her to be a captain. I can't vibe with it. Even though Princess may be new to the team, it doesn't matter. Anyone coming through the doors, if they have what it takes to be able to be a captain of the team, it's always up for guys for anyone. Nobody's safe. Captain will be. <laughs> you thought. <laughs>
I'm not telling you. You're just going to have to stay tuned and watch. All right, so we're going to play a game called Let's Go to Miss D School. I use a lot of words in the dollhouse that some of the moms and some of the kids should know. And if you don't know what these words mean, then you have no reason to be screaming Dee Dee for real at all. Dee Dee for real! Dee Dee for real! So the first word is death drop. A death drop is pretty much what it says it is, a drop to your death. Like, you're standing up in midair and you just take this big risk and you jump backwards and try to land on your head. Hands. <laughs> Not your head. <laughs> Not your head, your hands. Well, some people do land on their head. That's probably where their death word came from. It is dangerous. All right, next word. Give them face. Now, give them face is the epitome of what a doll is supposed to do when they're dancing. You're having a full conversation with your face without saying anything. So I can just be like. But if it's like jazz, then you're like winking and smiling and like letting them know what style is like, what's the vibe. Give them face. When Diana comes outside and knowing we're loud and she's mad. If you don't like it, you can leave. Give them face. Old head. Say it with me, old head. Right beside old head, you will see Cameron's picture in the dictionary. Ding. Old head. If you're an old head, that means Dinah has no mercy on you. They're the vets. They know what it takes to piss me off. She'll be like, Kayla, what are you doing? If you can't get your together, you need to go to the back. Y'all need to be quiet. Make sure those arms are straight and get in line. I'm tired of this talk. I don't have time for all these. Yeah, that's pretty much how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Crab. Crab is basically like a new girl. You wear a white shirt, black leggings. You're pretty much just fresh meat. Fresh out the womb in the dollhouse. A crab is a new girl who has no business letting her mama come inside the dollhouse and sit down. She is new to the game. She's at the bottom of the barrel, and she's trying to crawl her way to the top. I met Jaylene while the dolls were doing training camps in New York a few years ago, and she attended one of the camps. We were doing a circus theme. People want to see the bendable lady. So I reached out to her mom, and I booked them a flight to come down to be the special guest for that week. Everyone was just like, this girl is amazing. Like, she can do pretty much anything with her body. Like, she can turn into a bottle if you wanted her to. My name is Jaylene, and I'm 16 years old. I'm very excited to be on the Dancing Dolls. Since Jaylene has been here, she has not only been able to teach the girls the way she stretches, but she's learned a whole lot about what it means to be a part of a team like ours and what it means to be a doll. Welcome to the new dance season. Also, we have a new member. Everybody remember Jaylene. And then now we come back and we see Jaylene again and now she's like on the team now. How did she just get up in here? She is technically trained and eager to take anybody's spot. Blow my wig off. I don't care if she has three legs. There is no such thing as an open invite to this team. I'm trying to understand how in the hell you come from New York the city of lights, the fast life, to come to Mississippi? Come on now, like, Diana been pushing me out the dollhouse. You need to go to New York, you need to go to California. When this girl is coming back here, it don't make sense. We were all just kind of a little skeptical because, you know, if it was any other dancer, you know, we would have to go through trials. But, you know, hey, times change. So is it intense? Very, very intense, because there's so many talented people. She says really sweet, I like her. Princess is new to the doll. She came from Prancing Tigeresses. She's an amazing little fireball. Princess is a great dancer, but the dancing dolls contract that I know of has been, can't live outside of 25 miles of Jackson, Mississippi, and we know doggone well Memphis is more than 25 miles. I drive three hours to here every day and three hours back to Memphis. I would drive double that if that's what I had to do. You want to come over here and join our team? Come on. 
Oh, you a rival team too? Oh yeah, definitely, come on. I'm not sure what's going on through Miss Diana's head, but I know the old Miss Diana wouldn't go for that. Won't you just mind your own damn business and stop worried about Princess? Why are you so bothered? We have dolls walking on, traveling miles, thousands of miles away. It's like, what is going on? This is not the way dancing dolls roll. Deal with it. If Tina could describe you in one word, mm. what would it be? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's one. That's one. <laughs> she goes from zero to 100, and it's not only about Cameron, it's about what? Ever Mimi want to go zero to a hundred on? Who put the pom pom in your face? Okay. Well, point her out to me and let her put the pom pom oh, in my face. Calm down. Let her put oh, you man. With that one. I'm like, oh, beast mode. <laughs> a whole nother Mimi came out. That's my child that's crying over there. That's mine right there. That's mine right there. And then five minutes later, we like, bitch, you know you just cussed me out. Yeah, it was funny though, wasn't it? <laughs> Mimi is the only parent that I have ever gotten in trouble with. Got in trouble with. She was scary. I don't feel the same confidence you got about well, this. I don't know. Oh, what you know? The mama's always got something to say. You're not gonna raise your voice to me and I'm not gonna raise mine back. Book up, get booked back on. I'm not gonna be bullied, I'm not gonna be punk. Tina's demanding answers. She wants to know why the girls have to battle PD. Um, because I said so. When you ask out my but at the end of the day, real friends can turn that around and be like, okay, well, now that's done and over with. Thank you too much. We can't wait to see it. Now you can literally what? poke your duck lips out and kiss my ass. Bye, <laughs> Bye DDP! Bye, Mimi! How many wigs does Tina have? Mm. You write down the real answer and you write down what you mm. Yeah, oh, seven okay. plus. Okay, that's yeah. some song. Oh, I forgot about one. Yeah. That was a hard one. Yeah, that was a hard one, because some of them I don't know about. They just come out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, they hiding in the trunk, they hiding in the clothes, they hiding everywhere. <laughs> Who should play Mimi in the movie version? Bring it. Um, I don't even think there's an actor out here right now that can match Mimi's crazy. I thought you didn't know what was going on. That's what I thought. Let me make sure I let the camera know what is going it's on. Over. Pull that knife right there. Mm -mm. I see. Who plays Tina? <laughs> you know, nobody can do Tina the way I do. The wig snatch is a perfection, okay? So and you really so can't learn the wig snatch. You can't learn it, but if it, we had a few stunt doubles or something, you want to play be your own stunt double? Oh, you know, I ain't really do nothing I really can't do. You know, my knee's bad. That's so what I'm saying. saying. You so you're going to have to get you a stunt double, and yeah. it should be Jennifer Hudson. Uh -oh. Okay, well, we're not getting good, good at this. We need yeah, to fix I thought, this. I thought we okay. knew each other better than this. This ain't a good question. <laughs> Flunking this day. Right. <laughs> What's good? What's good? What's oh, good? Wow. Yeah. 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 So, Mimi, who is this? Oh, oh, what? Remember Ritney. You remember Ritney, right? Can you hear Ritney's name, period? The first thing you think of is, oh my God, what is she about to say or do now? You picking on her because I snapped on Bobby, your ass. You ain't snapped on yeah, nothing. That's why you picking on her. It's not one person or DDP or probably even a child that she has not argued or cussed out. This is the baby sister to Ritney. This is Christiana's oh. biological real mama. Oh. Stand by Lisa on this porch right now. I'm hoping that she doesn't come with the same attitude with Ritney because if not, this is gonna be a hell of a season. I cannot deal with a Ritney 2.0. Ritney, I don't know what the hell you doing and where you at, but please get this lady off this porch. Before I can even get on the porch, good five minutes, here is a new mom rolling up, music blasting, hella loud. And I'm like, oh my God. Boy, yeah. girl, who in the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I see this 
lady get out, and she's like, hola. Hola. Baby, what planet did you come from? This is the die house. She for real. And she get closer. I think the parents are going to have a whole lot of fun with her. Excuse me, Miss Boogie Bronx, but let me tell you something. You didn't see that Mississippi has big ass mosquitoes that look like bats flying past you. Or spiders come out and say, hello, welcome home. Jaylene's mom is like Rosie Perez times 10. She talks about the bugs and the flies and how hot it is. I'm from New York. I'm not used to that. We'll take your ass back to New York. Your daughter walked on the team, and now you get to walk in the dollhouse? Woo! Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Woo! So we're going to sit uh -uh. so quiet. Wait, wait, wait. That's not going to go well with the rest of the parents. Now I'm on another planet, because this is just not how we roll on the porch. I'm sorry. What just happened here? Oh, let's see what's about to take place right. here. And she shows up in these heels like she's going to prom. Like, where are you going with these pumps on, ma'am? Hey. What you want, prom queen? I need, I need to talk to you. Get off my floor with your shoes oh, sorry. on. Sorry, sorry. Selena tried that. Okay. Hey, hey. Hi, people. She learned them big-ass hooves she got. She learned really damn quick. Selena, we'll see you. Right, this is closed. Right, this is closed. The dollhouse, the prefix is doll. Doll house is a compound word, doll house. And the beginning of that says doll. You're not a doll, so you can't come into the house. It's the house for the dolls, it's not for the parents. You're putting yourself in strict isolation with the DDPs right now, because once Diana kick you out of the doll house, you're with us, and it's the lion's den out here, baby. The OG mamas run the porch. Just one more time for the hearing impaired. The OG mamas run the porch. This dude right here has been a rival of mine for as long as Jesus has been in the world. Look at this ugly ass head that he got on. You just as tack as your team. We came to slay, we did not come to play. We came particularly for the dolls because we have a little score to settle with them. The fact that that guy, that guy, that guy lost his captain. Oh, he feeling some type of way, because now she a dancer dog. Check for it now. I went to get something out of my car in the parking lot, and as I am passing through, I see Quincy. And I'm like, damn, damn. Little Birdie told me that you have a prancing tigerette. Actually, I have a dancing doll. Oh, I have several okay. new dancing dolls. Oh, Princess, okay. now that she's here, she'll get some training. Oh, so she's not getting, she wasn't getting trained? So she's going to get trained the way we dance, and she's going to okay. be trained by one of okay. the best. So, mm. so, but it just seems like you're just really, like, in your feelings about this. No, I'm not. I promise you I'm not. I'm just saying you're welcome for the upgrade, though. <laughs> so basically, my kids weren't <laughs> with the uh, uh, What? What? Why are you mad? Now she a dancer doll. She looks much better as a dancer doll than she ever looked as a prancing tigerette. This is Kelly. She say her name is Professor. Professor of the BS, if you ask me. Let me tell you something about being a diva. Ain't no person gonna bully you. D I B A R B Compton. Let's go, let's go. We found Compton. Woo! This is actually a cute picture of her, though. Better than usual. All right, moving on. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Father, God, Son, and the Holy Spirit, y'all don't put this woman that this is. Now, this my cookie right here, baby. Me and Tyrus go way back like four flats on a Cadillac, baby. Well, honey, after you see this routine today that's kept in so long, look out! Yes, honey, we finna kick them dolls' ass all on that floor, honey. Did he just air ninja kick me? Tyrus is one of the craziest lunatics I have ever met in my entire life. You never know what you're gonna get. You don't know if he's gonna wear your grandmama's jewelry. You don't know if he's robbed a jewelry store. His hair is like a gumball machine. It's like 39 flavors. These two right here, he need to do her makeup. He need to do her hair. He 
is a better woman than she will ever be. All right, moving on. Baby, Princess Fiona herself, the epitome of a bad weave, no hairline, toupee wearing, diva of olive garden, round tooth having, highlight crayon makeup wearing, too tight shirt wearing, wanna be Coach D, Neva. She called herself a diva, but a diva of what? A diva of madness. <laughs> earlier in the season, she put her girls up under a dress. Who does that? She thought she was Glenda the Good Witch from the Wizard of Oz. Your girls don't even move like they supposed to move, because you too busy jumping your big ass on floats and <laughs> instead of investing in a real coach for your team. Divas, 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 divas. Did you feel good? It did. Amazing. This season, we have old rivals who really push us to our limits. From Olive Branch, Mississippi, the Divas of Olive Branch. also have new rivals who really make us work harder than what we've ever done before. All right, you guys, we came all the way from Nashville, Tennessee to show the world what Jewels of Distinction is all about. One, two, three, J-O-D! All the coaches crack me up. Especially when a situation happens, it's like, oh, did she cross the line? Did she throw herself? I live for it all. Come get your wine, Shrek. Come get your wine. I don't hate the parents. I dislike them intently sometimes. You making too much noise standing out here. It's a distraction to not only me, but it's a distraction to them. If you cold sit in your car, if your feet hurt, wear some regular shoes next time. Stop trying to be cute. I told you to be quiet. I told you to be quiet. I'm paying for this building. I pay for the building. Selena, get out of my face. You I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. I don't know who the hell you think you talking to, but all this hollering and shit you do, you ain't talking to me. me. Sometimes, people press your buttons. Oh, he gonna ran his stupid. Y'all not happy to see us. Yeah, we happy to see y'all, real happy. These parents are my sisters. You be around them more than you be around your own husbands. You get a little grimy, you get a little upset. I was oh, trying really? to be your friend and talk to you, but now I kind of see why nobody want to talk to you. Oh, OK, OK. But surely you didn't mean it like that, right? I'm hoping she did. Of course not. Of okay. course not. That was fake. Whatever. Selena. And I have always had a back and forth. Nah, it's like I was quiet when you talk. Give me the two seconds she of respect won't. to okay. be quiet when I'm talking. First of all, okay, that was two first seconds. First of all, you need to be two feet away from me before I oh, you. Oh, really? Everybody remembers the wig snatch. Can you just get away from me? That's all I'm asking. What? 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 You're what? not gonna take the PSA one. You're gonna what's take up? the public service announcement. Ah. You're not gonna take it. No. Well, let's get it. Let's uh -oh. get it. Please put that back on your head. I ain't gonna have to. You better back the. I've never seen anybody pull off their wig before. Not like that. Look down, look back up, wig is off. Please put it back on. Please put it back on. This is reality right here. That is fake. And that is fake. They also, and then they put on fire. This is 100% human hair. It's real. It's just not mine. But it is mine because I bought it. Regardless of the fights, the arguing, the disagreements, whatever we may have on the porch, we're still all going to be here for each other. About her from Selena, how she doing? Mm -mm. I was wondering yeah. the same thing. Selena's grandmother passed away. She's not going to be here this week. Her grandmother passed. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I know her grandmother is the one that yeah. raised, raised her and her. brought her up. up. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to walk slow. Okay. My grandmother passed away. She raised me since I was 18 months old. She was my mother. 
I just went through so much. And so now I'm trying to get myself together. It's just gonna take me some time. This season, with her being sick, it has really brought all the parents together because we have to watch out for her. She is like the porch baby right now. At the end of the day, we are that one call, that's all type of moms with each other. Like, we hands down will give our last to each other. We are a family. We are dysfunctionally functional. That's the best way to put it. Last season, the Dancing Dolls had a lot of special guests. My favorite special guest, of course, was Todrick Hall, because I love Todrick Hall. Like, he is so creative, and he's an amazing singer. I'm gonna choose one team to dance live on stage with me at the concert. In Atlanta. I'm the wizard, I pronounce it you. Let somebody go the house on you. Get love. They were very inspired about his story and how he was a down home, great heart, and just performed his way up. And that is what we are, just down south, normal, beautiful performers that are just performing our way to the top. Are we ready? Yes. Are we focused? Yes. And then we had Kip Boyd. And like when we, when Kip Boyd taught us that dance, I was like, I'm never gonna get this. But I still do that dance today. Like I'll be in the kitchen just, just doing it all over. But this season, there's gonna be one special guest. You know, it's gonna knock their socks off. She born low like she work as the doll in house. The moms are always talking about how the girls get their dance moves from them. I'm gonna see if they can put their dance as where their mouths are. Now, and. She can't even see. She got them sunglasses on, looking like Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder's cousin. Miss Ann, uh-uh, back to the back. And it's a no. <laughs> this is not the freestyle section, ma'am. You're cut. One more try, please. No. <laughs> I promise you, if you give me one more try, I got it. If I give you another try, I got to give Brandon no, another one. No, that worth it. Dana, it's a no. When you looking good and you fitting in with them and you dancing, I'm like, shh. Can't tell me nothing. Mimi, she does pretty good. But at the same time, they don't give you any slack. It's like, uh-uh, run, move, go. I'm like, well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't be hollering at me. Bye. Guess what, you guys? What? We're going to New York City! <laughs> going to New York City, the girls got a chance to compete against each other in Central Park. They got a chance to see what it feels like to be a real street dancer. They got a chance to go meet the cast of Hamilton. They got a chance to talk to the Broadway singer. Every time we take a different trip, there's a different journey to experience and something you can learn from. We are going to L.A. The girls got a chance to see what it feels like to dance in a music video. Experiences like this are once in a lifetime. I'm really hoping that they take from it what they should so they can use it to better them when they get ready to go off into the world on their own. One of the weeks, the girls had a liturgical piece that I wanted them to do for a creative. For our live music, we are going to utilize a live church choir. Mm. It's going to be a liturgical praise and mime routine. For me, it was important because my faith in God has really carried me through a lot of weeks where I feel like I can't go any further. I opened the floor to everyone, and out of everyone in the room, only three people stood up. Faith, come up. Dang, only three. <laughs> 
To me, it was a slap in the face. You're not taking it serious, and I, am, I have had it. So I quit, I quit. Everybody was kind of looking at me like, what are we gonna do now? I think we had just pushed her to that limit that day. She was fed up with us being lazy and not really putting our all into practice. And that's when she was like, she quit. She just walked out, she walked past us. She's actually leaving, leaving. Whatever it is, we need her to come back. For her to quit, that was a big moment. I don't think that the girls nor the moms really understand how the constant ah, ah, ah over here and the ah, ah, ah over here every day of every week can wear on a person. Y'all made it to the point where Coach D left. That means something is wrong. She not playing. We are your babies. You can't just let us go like that. I'm done. What? I'm done. We can't just be like, oh, well, we quit too and just walk out. We have to, we have a competition. We have to at least work together and figure out a way to come together and finish this off for her. In your presence, in your presence, it was very emotional for me. Nothing can harm me. I am free. Oh. It just felt like heaven had came down on us and we just were dancing like no one was watching. And it moved me. And for once, I felt like they understand and they get it. When she came back and she did forgive us and we we truly apologized for everything, I think it helped us grow as a team. It helped us bond more. And it was just the greatest experience ever. So right now in my life, I am a senior and I'm so happy. I'll be leaving the doll soon. It's kind of bittersweet. Of course, I'm going to miss the girls. I'm going to miss dancing a lot. But I'm moving on to a new chapter in my life. I'm totally amazed at the young woman that she has become being a part of this team. I'm not looking forward to being away from my family because my family is like my backbone. They are my support system. If it's something that you want, you do what it takes to get there, and you keep doing it. I'm afraid. It's like, I won't get to be there at your next journey. You know, you're going off to college. Mommy can't tap on the window. I'm a bit sad about it. I'm just afraid to let go, but I know it's that time. I definitely think my mom's going to boo-hoo when I'm going away. She's been holding in all her emotions, so I think when that day comes, all the tears are just going to come out. I don't want to think about it. Your daughter leaving this team is a very important year. It's very emotional. And not knowing what to do afterwards is very hard. You know, I did my crying. I did my hollering and screaming for the day. But I want to say thank y'all for sharing y'all times with me and Kayla. Aww. Crab, baby, crab. I just want to say congratulations. And here you go. Yeah. Watching Kayla grow as a captain on this team was amazing. Come here. You're giving me just enough. When you think you've done enough, go further. I saw Kayla go from definitely being a follower to a very strong leader. Don't ever mock or make fun of Kayla. Kayla just took a bag of dog poo, set it on fire, and threw it over the line onto the Divas of Compton side.
Diddy for real. Stands for Dancing Dolls for Life, but that for life part, that 4L, it's, that's the most powerful part. That's the suit that I'm gonna have for life. In this upcoming season, I think I'm looking forward to making sure I just dance like to the fullest and I just want to leave a reflection of who I was through my dancing. This season, you're gonna see a whole new side of me. So just wait on it. I have been asked to coach dance teams in so many places, but I can't be everywhere and I can't do everything. And knowing that I've had 16 years in Jackson, I want to continue to grow. All right, come on, you guys. Everybody come over. I opened up a new dance studio in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And right here in Jackson, We've got a lot to do this season. Moving to Atlanta, I'm beyond excited about the opportunity to continue to grow the brand, to continue to evolve the dollhouse, and to continue to create new and upcoming dancing dolls. New beginning.